What up, people? This is Bonjo. Today we're going from Bergamo to Milan. We're just at an Airbnb, which is spooky, wooky, wooky. A little old school Airbnb. It's ancient, historic, maybe, but it's very creepy, uh, especially at nighttime. But we're going to Milan today to check out some food. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. We're gonna do a what can 20 euros get you in Milan challenge and then see where it gets us. I don't think it'll get us much so far in Bergamo. It didn't get us almost anything. So we're gonna check it out. What can 20 euros get us in Milan? Don't forget, click like, subscribe and share. Thanks boys and girls. Our first place on the list is Trapezino's, one of my favorite places in Italy. Tried it first time in Rome. We're gonna try it again here in Milan. So let's go see how much a Trapezino meatball sandwich is. It's pretty good, huh? It's pretty good here in Milan. Look at this, though, eh? Wow, isn't that incredible? Our first spot is Trapezino's here. We grabbed the ragu and meatball one and a chicken cacciatore with a beer, an Inchusu beer. See right here, it's a five euros for a cacciatore. It's a meatball pocket, basically like a corner pocket bread with some meat stuffed in it. It's honestly amazing. So we're gonna try this place. That came to 10 euros. So now we're going to our next one. We don't know where we're gonna, but we're gonna show you what it looks like and what it tastes like and everything. Does this live up to Rome's? Trapezino, the famous trapezino. the canals here in Milan I didn't even know they had canals but look at this huh little artsy canal maybe we can take a sweet little gondola ride here what do you guys think looks nice doesn't it look at this though look at this the canals of Milan got the trapezinos in hand got the beer mm. not bad it tastes like good it's in in a chuzu or something like that I forget what the beer's name is but in Chusu or something crazy. But look at this, you can go on little river rides, a little gondola ride. Oh, that'd be nice to get one of those old Italian fisher boats. Look at this stuff. The man caught something. He caught something right there. But look at this. We might go on one of those little rides, huh? Why not if we can? Look at Caught a little fish there. Nice, huh? There's a lot of little fish here. He's gonna catch that. I mean, clean that up and eat it. But here we are. I'm trying to find Mickey, but they keep walking farther and farther. We got our trapezinos right here. Let's go, mama. Look how much paper they waste for this. Look at this. I don't know if this one's the meatball one or what, but look at this. They, it comes in a little triangle. This one is definitely the chicken cacciatore. Chicken cacciatore. Look at this. And then you got the other little bag. Lots of paper waste here. And Let's try it. Come up with Papa. Leave the garbage alone. Let's try it. Hold on. Let's get it out, my boy. So we got this. Look at this. Come here. Papa. <clears throat> look at this, bad boy. So this is the... Here I go. Here, honey. This is the ragu one here, Enzi. Look at it. He's trying it. Here. Mm. Trapezino. Trapezino, the famous Trapezino. 
Open up your chicken catch a tori. Look at this so we'll move over a little bit. And mm. Does it look good? It looks amazing. Oh, this one is money. I understand it's a small sandwich for five bucks, but this is our first on the list. Mm. This is my favorite thing. Ever since I tried the first time, I wanted it again. Mm. Mm. But the chicken cacciatore one's way better. And hopefully we can find a porchetta sandwich because porchetta sandwiches, mmm. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Wow. It's just so soft and beautiful and tasty. I heard that. Mmm. How how's the chicken catch toy? Mm. It tastes amazing. But it's so small, eh? This is small. It's just really good. The bread is also good. Now we're gonna take our time here at the water at the canal here in Milan. Mmm. Sip a beer and relax. I kind of want to go on a boat ride. You feeling a boat ride or what? So everybody knows the rules. We try to get something salty, sweet, and we try to get a drink. So far we got the we got a beer and a water too, which was an extra three euros. So we kind of got only seven euros left. To our budget, our 20 euro budget. So we're gonna try to make it. I don't know if we can. Do you think we can make it? Yeah. Make it, eh? You think we yeah. have two sweets? Oh, I'm dying for something sweet. Let's go get something sweet. My thing is to buy magnets where we are. I think this one, huh? Oh, I like that one. This one, two euros, it says? Yes. Or three for five. You like this one? Yes, or this one also. I like this one, this, the Vespa or the license plate. This or time it's mine to choose, huh? This one looks like Valencia. Yes, but we want a Milan one, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's just grab this one. So we're gonna grab something small from here to round up our 20 euros. Oh, Mickey's here, huh? <laughs> yeah, the nobody answered. Yeah, two euros, huh? Two euros, huh? Let's get one. Hi. Which one you like? I like this one, huh? This what one do you think? Best? Okay. okay. Three for five, madam. Madam, if you get three pieces, it's five euros. Do you want thing? If you get from this one, from from Domo, Domo. It's one piece is four euros. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? It's crazy <laughs> because they are selling <laughs> high costed because. Yeah. When you come in Italy, yeah. you are you should be have to visit first in Domo. Yeah, so no. that's why they will know. Yeah. You don't know how much is it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why they will told you uh, four euro, five four, euro, four or five euros. Whatever, whatever <laughs> like. This one's nice, so, huh? It's for our fridge at home, you know. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Here, we'll get this one. You want to get two, yes. whatever, three euros out. Three euros. They got some nice magnets. Nice. Uh. Wait, oh yeah, two euros. It's two euros. Let's see what happened. It's cool, eh, Andy? Oh, no, this place. So we're going to, uh, what does it say? Avucheria? Sicily, this is Sicily food, Sicilian food. Sweet. Yeah, something sweet, huh? They have the donuts over there. Let's go check it out, let's go. On this side, there's some music on that side. Let's see what's going on here. Look at this though. This is crazy. Three euros. Look at these, huh? Pistachio. Pistachio. Which which one would you like? These ones are nice though, eh? The donuts. Four euros. Remember we have seven. I might get one of these too. To uh ragu pancetta. Pistachio pancetta, I'll get one of those ones. Pistachio pancetta. What are you gonna get? And this sweet. Which one? No. Uh, oh look at this guy, he's he's excited. 
These the donuts are good. You can get the four. The donut? Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Uh, can I get this? The brioche. Brioche ricotta. One. <laughs> and uh, the pistachio. Uh, brioche. Yeah. Yeah. Brioche and uh, pistachio pancetta. <laughs> yeah, it's good, huh? It looks good this place. Messina, Messina beer too. Look at this, huh? This is a good beer here too. But these are all crazy. Look at this one. Siciliana stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff we haven't tried, huh? Yes. <laughs> This looks nice. I'm glad we came to this place. It looked like nice when we were walking by. Uh, Siciliano. Look how they look at the inside decoration. It's cool. So these two came to seven euros, seven fifty. So it puts us just at our budget. The other one came to thirteen, or thirteen and some change. This one came to seven fifty. So we got a sweet, we got a drink, and we got some something salty and savory. So perfect. It worked out perfect here in Milan for two people too. Twenty euros feature for two people. Sure, you can argue that the trapezino was small and it wasn't worth it, but at the end of the day. We still got something salty, something to fill our bellies, didn't we? Thank you. That's it, ciao. It's nice. <laughs> That's beautiful, huh? Siciliana. I guess it wasn't something from Milan, though. <laughs> Palermo. Yeah. Palermo everywhere. Palermo, Sicily. Look at this stuff, son.